please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Falcons. My name is Arturo. And my name is Amber. And this is Chaos with the Morning News. Students, please continue to bring back any string picture packages or the money for them. The blue tub is still in the main hallway where you should drop them into. You have, until, you have another two weeks to return them. Congratulations to Roxana Solis, Daniel Alba, Irma Cuevas, Jessica Stockwell, and Amanda Mendiela for participating in the World Drum Major Association Championships this past Saturday at Loyola High School. They all did very well. The big news is that Jessica Stockwell finished second in the division. This is truly awesome since there are no junior high divisions. She and all other Ross Drum Majors competed against high schoolers. A super big congratulations to Jessica for a landmark finish at championships. Looks like it's time for another birthday shout out. I'd also like to give a birthday shout out to Alita from K Ross. Happy birthday, Alita. Now let's go to Abdul for our five day weather forecast. Thanks, Arturo. Just to start off, I want to say happy birthday to Alita Salcedo. You rock. On Wednesday, it's going to be 72 degrees. On Thursday, it's going to be 78 degrees. On Friday, it's going to be 83 degrees. On Saturday, it's going to be 76 degrees. And on Sunday, it's going to be 75 degrees. It's getting pretty cold, but don't worry. On Friday, it's going to be shining bright like a diamond. Back to you guys. Thank you, Abdul. And yes, you're right. This morning was a cold one. All right, Falcons. It is now time to vote on the top three CST slogans. Teachers, get your CST slogan tally sheet ready. It's, not, it's time to vote. We hope everyone has a nice day. Go, Go Falcons! The top three CST slogans are... Number one, spread your wings, Falcons, and you will shine with an amazing score of 849. Number two, blast off, Falcons, soar even higher with a score of 850. We'll be on fire. Number three, come on, Falcons, let's do our best. At 849, we'll pass the test. Now it's time to vote for one amazing CST slogan. Number one, spread your wings, Falcons, and you will shine with an amazing score of 849. Number two, blast off, Falcons, soar even higher with a score of 850, we'll be on fire. Number three, come on, Falcons, let's do our best. At 849, we'll pass the test.
Test strategy two. Draw diagrams or sketches to answer a question. Question one. What features do all insects have? Choice A, six legs and two body parts. All right, two body parts, one, two, three, six. Hmm, that doesn't look right. B, eight legs and two body parts. Two body parts. That looks more like a spider, sort of. No. C. Three body parts, six legs. That looks kind of like an ant. An ant's an insect. That looks like that could be a right answer. And let's look at part D. Three body parts again, but eight legs. I think that's too many legs. So the best answer choice would be C. I'd mark C on my answer sheet. Roll. Question two. A spring scale is pulled downward and readings are recorded. Data table. So the distance pulled for one centimeter, it's pulled four ends. For 1.5 centimeter, it's pulled six. Two centimeters, it's pulled eight. 2.5. It's pulled 10. Question says, if the spring is pulled 3.5 centimeters, the spring scale should read, and then they give me answer choices. Well, I think I can extend this table on. On this column, it seems like they're moving up by 0.5. 1 to 1.5 to 2 to 2.5. So if I make this... Three, here they're moving by twos. Four to six is two, six to eight is two, so that means this would be 12n. But I need to go to 3.5, so I need to add one more in my chart. This would be 3.5. If I added two more, I would have 14n. So there's 14n right there. I would mark C on my answer sheet. Farmer Ricky is building a fence around his garden to keep the deer from eating his crops. The fence is 8 feet wide and 16 feet long. What is the shape of the fence? All right, well, if I know that it's 8 feet wide, I'll say that that's 8, and it would be about twice as long that's 16. Well, if it's a fenced-in area, it's going to end up like that. What shape is that? That is not a circle. That is not a square, because a square is equal on all four sides. It's not a triangle, which means it must be D, a rectangle. I would mark D on my answer sheet. 